Hi and welcome to This Is Genius, your guide to the best video of the last seven days. As the legendary poet Rihanna sang, Now that it's raining more than ever, know that we still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, A, A. Well, not with this bad boy, you can't. Better than Batfink's wings of steel, the Nubrella is a hands-free protective shield. Inventor Alan Kaufman is from the University of Blowing Your Own Trumpet. I think this is, it's been about time. I get that a lot, a lot, as what took so long? Where has this been? Because it does provide a new solution to things we're facing out there. I know what you're thinking. That python's got a really smug look on its face. Well, so would you if you just managed to eat a whole dog in one bite. Yep, this 16-footer in Australia stalked a family's pet for days before suffocating and eating it whole. The family, of course, called their local Venom Zoo, but it was a bit too late for their little chihuahua. We went straight away and uh, it had half consumed the, the dog. Uh, we took a number of photos and then removed the snake uh, basically back here to the zoo. Don't save the dog, just take some photos. There's a man who's got his priorities right. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a Frenchman nicknamed Spider-Man. Alan Robert has scaled a 46-storey building in Brazil's business capital, Sao Paulo, without any safety gear. The 44-year-old was watched by curious onlookers as he climbed down the 168-metre Italia building as the country's second tallest. The first time the Frenchman tried this feat, he failed. Twelve years ago, um, I didn't succeed, of course. After 12 years, I was thinking maybe uh, I should come back and I should try to do uh, another attempt. Whilst people in the street below celebrated his success, the police weren't quite so amused. Robert scaled some of the world's tallest skyscrapers and it's unlikely this will be his last. The warden threw a party at the county jail. This is the so-called Melodies of Freedom event in the Peruvian capital, Lima. Basically a Peruvian underworld version of Pop Idol and no Simon Cowell or Sharon Osbourne in sight. One thing never changes though, the shall we say varying quality of the competitors. Presumably doing time for crimes against music, but it's the taking part that counts. You know, you can you put your mind on something else now, because now you're dancing and you forgot that you're in jail now. And here's the winner, Augusto Flores, with a moving number entitled Your Visit, about, you guessed it, a prison visit. <laughs> But instead of a multi-million pound recording contract, he wins a guitar and a pair of shoes. This goes to show that no matter what your musical talent, in Peru, crime definitely doesn't pay.